do this through the video. I'm going to show you what you would do if you could do this on the computer. This lab doesn't work on your iPads, so we're kind of skipping a step here so we can make it work for our iPads today. So let's first hear what our problem is going to be. You are a microbiologist. The owner of a restaurant hires you to examine a sample of preserved vegetables that appears to have spoiled in its can. The metal can only contains vegetables and water. It appears to have been sealed tightly, but the sides of the can have bulged. Could bacteria in the can have survived the canning process and caused the sides to bulge? In this investigation, you will observe how aerobic, with oxygen, and anaerobic, without oxygen, conditions affect bacterial growth. You will use three types of bacteria. B. Sterothermophilus, C. Sporogens, and E. coli. Explore the lab to learn what is available for your investigation. <coughs> you must click on each item in the checklist. Once you are ready to move on, click Procedure. Okay, so it looks like we have three different vials here. Sample bacteria. Vial 1. Bacillus sterothermophilus. Vial 2. Clostridium sporogens. Vial 3. Escherichia coli. Okay, so that's my where my three bacteria are coming from. Let's see what else I've got going on here. Medium A. Medium A is a standard medium used for growing bacteria. The tubes containing medium A present aerobic with oxygen conditions. Medium B. Medium B is a special medium that produces anaerobic without oxygen conditions by binding with oxygen. When the screw cap is closed tightly, no additional oxygen can enter the tube. However, some oxygen will be trapped in the tube between the cap and the medium. An indicator in the medium turns light pink when it comes in contact with oxygen. Sterile inoculating loops. Use the sterile inoculating loops to transfer bacteria from the sample vials to the test tubes. Incubator. Use the incubator to grow bacteria above room temperature. This incubator is set at 37 degrees Celsius, 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Biohazard container. Use the biohazard container to store used pieces of equipment, such as inoculating loops. The equipment will be safely disposed of once the investigation is completed. Do you think the presence of oxygen or the lack of oxygen will affect the growth of bacteria? Open the lab notebook and record your predictions. Once you have recorded your predictions, click the arrow to advance to step two. Okay, so you are going to literally open up your lab notebook where you have glued in the bacterial virtual lab and you're gonna answer questions one and two. Number one is you're going to explain whether or not you think all bacteria need oxygen in order to grow and why you think that. And then number two, let's just think about the experiment we're going to set up. We're going to have an independent and dependent variable. We're going to have two different types of medium, one with oxygen and one without oxygen. So that's going to be the things that we're going to change. And our dependent variable is going to be how much bacteria grows. So Bacteria growth is our dependent variable, and our medium is our independent variable. So take some time to answer one and two. Okay. Drag a sterile inoculating loop to vial 1 to get a sample of B. sterothermophilus bacteria. Then drag the loop to tube 1 of medium A to inoculate. Once you have completed the inoculation, click the arrow to advance to step 3. Okay, so at this point I'm going to mute the directions and I'm just going to do what I need to do. So. 
go under here, get some bacteria, stick it in the tube, throw it away. Drag a sterile inoculate. And then I'm going to do it again. Give her what he wants me to do. There we go. And we're going to put it over here. So we've got bacteria one in both aerobic and anaerobic environments. Drag a sterile inoculating. And then I'm going to do the same thing again. From two, I'm going to put it here. Drag a sterile. And the same thing again for bacteria number two. Drag a sterile inoculating. And then finally, my third. Drag a sterile. And now I've got all three bacterias in three, two different environments. Okay. Drag the test tube rack containing all six tubes to the incubator, and then click Start to incubate for 48 hours. Once 48 hours have passed, click the arrow to advance to Step 9. Open the lab notebook and record your observations. Describe the amount of growth in medium A as either none, low, or high. Describe where each type of bacteria is growing in the tube of medium B. Once you have recorded your observations, click the arrow to advance to step 10. Okay, so he's used the words low, medium, or high. You can use the same word. So we've got three different types of our bacteria, and we've got tube A1, A2, and A3, B1, B2, B3. So low, medium, or high, low, medium, or high. So let's just take a look at what we've got here. Um, so I want you to just write down what type of growth bacteria there is in each one of these test tubes. Notice here, location matters. So I'd also like you to write if it's at the top or at the bottom or both the top and the bottom, okay? So go ahead and pause this video to, to write down your observations. Open the lab notebook and use your data to record your results. Once you have recorded your results, click the arrow to advance to step 11. Okay, so in this next step, now let's start thinking about it. In each of our three types of bacteria, bacteria 1, 2, and 3, what type of oxygen does it need? Does it only grow in oxygen? So that would be in the medium A. Does it only grow without oxygen? So that means it would only grow with medium B. Or does it grow in both environments? So it grows in both A and B. And record your results here. When you're done with that, there are a few questions that I would like you to answer um, to think about this result. So the video is now over and you can finish completing your lab notebook page.